Hi, I'm Martin Pronk. I'm a researcher at Dataris, a non-profit research institute in the Netherlands. And I'm doing research into elevation, specifically terrain modeling. Um, and as part of the, this research, we developed SpaceLiDAR.gl. So SpaceLiDAR is here to work with so-called LiDAR data, which are elevation measurements with lasers. Uh, and then specifically laser satellites, namely ISAT-2 and JEDI. These are missions by NASA. So I will quickly demonstrate this functionality in a Pluto notebook. So after you've added a uh, space lighter normally, um, we can, for example, search for some data in Vietnam. And we find the list of all the data files that uh, represent that area. Uh, and we can easily download that and when you have such a data set, which are HDF5 files locally, uh, we make it very easy for you to extract uh, some useful data. So instead of a nested HDF5 file with a lot of attributes that you need to convert or inspect and understand, we easily provide you with the most common attributes and filters that you can use. So for example, we can easily apply a filter that drops all the high uncertainty points or that, that have a low sensitivity. Uh, and once you've done this, uh, you might want it to have in a GIS package to use it there. So for that purpose, I wrote uh, GeoData Frames, which is like data frames, but with a geometry column. Um, so based on the X, Y, and Z attributes of the table we just filtered, uh, we can create a point. And then we can just write it to file. Uh, in this case, a geo package, which I prefer above shape files. Uh, you can do the same if you want last files, if you're more familiar with them. Uh, and once you've done that, then you can import this data into Quantum GIS. And as you can see here, these are the ATL08 ISAT2 data product over the lower Mekong Delta in Vietnam. And you can clearly see the elevation differences here. Um, and the six beams in the th three beam pairs. Um, so this is ready to use. In the end, I want to thank you, Visser and Jijian, for their work in GDAL. Um, without them, this work wouldn't be possible. So let me know if you've got any questions about this presentation, the poster, or the notebook. Uh, thanks.